In this video, let's go through another quick tool that we can use to finesse our surfaces and get them even more accurate. So a quick tour of what we have, we've got a design surface here. And what I have with these blue lines is a ditch or a trench that I am wanting to place in this floor. And I've already added it. And you can see from these contours, this is the surface. So the contours look just fine. But if we interrogate the surface a little bit more closely, come down here and look at this ditch, which this to shade it. We can see we've got a bit of a triangulation issue right here. Now, depending on what you're designing and what you're doing, this, this might be okay, because this is a good taper from here to another major contour. But I want to have a true three to one wall at the end of this channel. So the ends of channels, the ends of ditches, often require a little bit of finessing and extra work to get them to model exactly the way you want. So in my case, I literally want it to start here and I want it to just come down into three to one to tie to this. So how do we get that? We're going to do something similar to the method that we've done in the other polishing video and use some temporary surfaces, but we're going to use a new tool in this case. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, feature lines out of this floor surface since I already had them in here for the purposes of the, this video. Let me come down here and remove them. And you can see that the floor just is a nice smooth grade all the way across. And you can't see those feature lines in plain view because they're, they're hiding, but they're under there. So now that I've got this floor, in, what in essence, if I have the end of my channel here and I'm wanting a three to one, I need to find where a three to one would intercept the surface. To do that, we're going to use some temporary surfaces again. So I'm going to draw me a polyline across this ditch bottom here. And I this will be at an elevation, as I can see. And I am going to go ahead and extend it beyond my channel. So let's let me extend that. I guess I could have done both of those. And now we're going to make us a temporary surface. But first things first, let's switch this to a um, feature line. So let's create a feature line. I'm going to put it on my on a site called Temp. The site is separate from my site that I'm using for my primary surfacing. That way I don't have any uh, feature line interference with each other. And um, I'm going to put it as first order. And hit OK. Whoops. Chose the wrong command there. Feature line from objects. And erase existing and OK. So now I have a feature here. And as you can see, it's not interfering with that other feature because it's on a different site. Now that we've got that, let's do a grading up at a 3 to 1 off this. Now we want it to extend beyond this cell floor here. I know that this channel, I designed it to be approximately 2 feet deep. So I'm going to only go up maybe 10. So let's come up here to our grading and do a grading creation tools. We're going to do relative to elevation. And I'm going to make sure I am on my temp site. And I already have a grading group. Let's create this. Use that, this side, tire length. And let's go positive 10 at a 3 to 1. And there's my surface. If I come over here, you can now see that it is passing through. Now that I have two surfaces, I can use another tool that will help us see this intersection. So if I go to the Analyze tab over here under Ground Data and hit this pull down, I can see minimum distance between surfaces. If I execute that command, it's going to say select the first surface. So I'm going to select my overall, my design surface. Select the second surface. Uh, zoom to point. I'm just going to say no. And the draw the intersection as an autocad polyline. Yes. If I hit enter, it drew a polyline that represents that intersection. So now I can actually just delete the surface. I don't need it. Delete this grading. 
and now I have this intersection. Now my floor is very flat and constant, so it's a nice straight line, but in your case, it might be a very jagged line. So I can see the three to one intercepts along this line of my cell floor. So now that I know where it needs to go, I'm going to go ahead and extend this feature to this line. I've got that there now. I am going to, for purposes that I've got a nice triangle, I am going to place that point. Extending actually moves the vertex. So I'm going to insert an elevation point that is um, parallel to that point. So that it's just got a nice triangle. You can see it here. We don't extend the, these because this is the bottom. This is the three to one that we're wanting. And um, we see that it intercepts this feature line. So let's do the same thing here. Let's intercept or insert us an elevation point right there at that intersection. And now I can use this line because it is. Whoops, I got multiple things like if I select this. You'll see that it is a 3D polyline. So every one of these vertices has a different elevation. So I can then trim it along that intersection and I can trim it along this feature. And now I can add that as a feature line. See how it's laying directly on top of our surface. So now if I come up here to home, do feature line from objects. And this time I am going to put it in my site. I want it as a second order in my case. Now I've got these features. Let's see what happens when I add it all back to the surface. So let's select them and add to surface as break lines. And now you can see that we've got us a nice clean end of channel ditch. So another way of helping you critique and polish your surfaces up using the analyze button ground survey minimum distances between surface to find the crossing line where two planes of a surface meet. Got any questions, comments, please leave them below and be sure to like and subscribe.